I'm Commander Exegius. Part of our series on engineering blueprints for core internals, today we'll be looking at power distributors. The power distributor handles how power is routed to our various systems, which greatly affects their performance. We've covered the use of the power distributor in our previous video on PIP management, linked on screen now. Power distributors offer us several blueprints. We'll start with the most popular, Charge Enhanced. This offers us a significant 45% increase in the recharge rate of our capacitors at the cost of a 5% loss of capacity. This is generally the best option for combat ships as the much higher regeneration rate is critical for delivering power to our various systems. The high charge capacity blueprint increases the capacity of each capacitor by 42% while also increasing module integrity by 30%. This is, however, at the cost of 18% slower regeneration. As such, this can be effective on trade ships where you need maximum capacitor size for short amounts of time. Next, we have Shielded, which doubles the integrity and lowers the power draw by 30% at the cost of 15% additional mass. This could also work well for trade or exploration ships where heat and integrity are critical. Finally, we have System, Weapon, and Engine Focus Distributors. Each offers a boost of 60% to the capacity of, and 44% faster recharge rate of their respective capacitors. This comes at the cost of 15% lower capacity and regeneration rate of the other capacitors. Engine focus can be very effective for speed and non-shield hull tank combat ships, giving you near perma boost ability. Weapon focus can work well for specialized PvE combat builds if you're using very energy hungry weapons. System focus distributors are rarely used as there are few builds where it is more effective than other blueprints. For our experimental effects, we have many to choose from, starting with the most common for combat builds, superconduits. This effect increases our recharge rate by an additional 4% at the cost of 4% smaller capacitors and works wonderfully when paired with the charge enhanced blueprint. Cluster capacitors increases the capacity of each capacitor and could also be useful with charge enhanced where you've lost overall capacity. This increases each capacitor by 8% at the cost of a 2% slower regeneration rate. Double braced offers us a 15% integrity boost and may be a good choice for trade vessels. Stripped down reduces the mass by an additional 10% and can be a good option for maximum jump range and or speed builds. Finally, flow control reduces the power draw by 10% and may be necessary on ships where power is critical, such as the Vulture. Hopefully this detailed look at power distributors will help you select the most effective blueprint for your builds. Whether you're creating a long distance exploration vessel or a highly potent combat ship, there is a great blueprint and experimental choice available. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching.